Yo, yo, what is going on, y'all? Coming at y'all again today with another little video on the Boom Vader. Uh, I was just kind of bored, and I decided, you know, it's a pretty nice day. I might as well go ahead and come outside and hop on this thing for you guys. And honestly, we could call this the 125-mile review of the Boom Vader. And it's completely stock right now. Um, I just hit 125 or 127 miles, something like that. Uh, I just hit it, so... I guess that's what we'll call this video. We'll consider it that. And I'll let you guys know what I'm thinking about the bike and the first 120 miles I've ridden on it in the past couple weeks. And I'll tell you about, guys about the things I like and I'll tell you guys about the things I don't like. So let's just get so into it. So one thing right off the rip on this bike is whenever you turn it on, uh, it has a choke right here on the hand. And the choke works really like really good sometimes. And you can tell it's working and everything. Uh, but then there's other times where like I just came out here a minute ago and it, it's 85 degrees right now. And you really shouldn't even need a choke on a bike when it's that hot. So, I mean, sometimes people say you do, sometimes people say you don't. Uh, I came out here, tried it with no choke. I started it up, and it, it wanted to die, like, two or three times. And then after, like, the third or fourth time trying it, it started up, gave it a couple revs, started up fine, took it down the street, and it was good, and it idled fine. But that's one thing I don't like about this bike is I think it needs new carburetor jets or it needs a new carburetor I I as a whole. Like, you know, some I mean? people might like this. Uh, some people don't. Uh, is there was a... The metal cargo rack you guys seen in my last video i don't know if you guys watched it or not but i actually removed the cargo rack and i removed what else was it it was a uh, oh yeah it was my blinkers i removed the uh, blinkers off of it and I, I don't even have the plastic guard for the wheel or nothing like that down there so it already looks pretty bare in the back which i like because if i was keeping this bike uh part of me was thinking about keeping it part of me was thinking about selling it if i keep it i was gonna take this big bulky exhaust off it and put a nice little stainless exhaust not really much to complain about the bike other than like i said sometimes it doesn't really want to start and that's about it man i mean everything else it rides good it, it cruises. i mean it goes decent speeds for what it is um and for the price it was a thousand bucks i mean can't really beat it you know because there's competitors like you know the benelli i forget what it is benelli something 125 then there's the honda Gram, you know there's uh the z125 all those run about three to four thousand dollars brand new this was a thousand bucks brand new $200 shipped you know what I mean if, if it didn't have shipping this thing wouldn't even have been $1,300 you know what I'm saying it would have just been a thousand bucks which that, I still considered that because I don't really count the shipping uh even though I still paid it it's because I look at well, how much I pay for the bike itself so the bike itself is $9.99 that's why I'm like thousand bucks really not bad and they got a few colors of it and like I said it rides good it's pretty easy to install I would say I mean the front wheel was really hard to get on by myself um, I had to actually have like two other people help me because I don't have a hoist or anything like that So we kind of just had to lift it up and slide the brake caliber onto the rotor and put the wheel on that way, which was a little hard um, And then yeah, you got to do the shock and the handlebars um, And then these little electronics. That's the only thing you actually have to do whenever you get this bike in but Yeah, I don't know. There's nothing really else bad about it guys I would recommend getting one of these if you are good at let's say you don't really necessarily have to be a mechanic, but like, let's just say you're good at messing with bikes and stuff like that. But now if you're trying to get something that you're not going to have to mess with at all, I would 100% say, 100% say just go with the Honda Gram. Uh, that, that's if you have the money and you know, you really just don't want to deal with any problems. Go with the Honda Gram because it's a Honda and obviously it's probably going to last a long time. And I'm going to call it a, a day. It's just going to be a quick video. I just want to start getting more into the realm of like posting every single day. The one thing I don't like about these type of bikes, it's like you never know when it's actually gonna turn on every time or and you never know when it's gonna just be like oh no we're not we're not turning on this time so and yeah there we go looks like she's wanting to run so that's that's good news because i'm trying to go for a little cruise feels really nice out but yeah guys um i've really been thinking about selling this thing i know i just got it recently like a couple weeks ago but it's not that i don't like it it's the fact that i, I kind of want to sell it for like you know Maybe a little what I got it for. Maybe I might put it up for like two grand or something like that and see if I can get money for it because I'd really like to go pick me up uh, a 250, like a two-stroke or uh, even a 254 stroke, honestly. Um, you know, so that's what, I, that's what I'm trying to do. I'm kind of in the process of doing that right now. So I don't know. You guys should let me know what you think, though, if I should get rid of this and go get a 252 stroke or anything too crazy expensive. Uh, but just you guys should let me know. But yeah, guys, like I don't know what to do because part of me really likes this little thing. Sorry, there was just randomly a lot of cars, though. We can get going. No, they're good. But, yeah, the wind noise might be a little bad. And that's because I, again, don't have my microphone. My uh, mic's actually in my friend's car, I think. So, I don't, I don't have it. But, oh, um, good guy running. Yeah, 
yeah guys, I mean, the bike's a really nice little bike. It just has a little couple problems here and there. And part of me wants to just like fix it. Like, I know it's brand new and you shouldn't really have to fix it, but part of me just wants to like, not necessarily fix it, but upgrade it. Like, you know, you just make this thing good, it's fun. Like I said, we'll see what ends up happening. If I find a good deal, I mean, I might not be able to pass it up. We'll see, honestly. But yeah, it's a super nice day out here today. So, go for a nice cruise. He actually lives down here. He has a shop down here. Um, yeah, show you guys that sometime soon. You guys will probably fuck with that. It's actually uh, way down this way. He's got a supercharged Infinity, and uh, he's got a couple bikes. So I know you guys will probably fuck with that. But yeah, so see, that's another thing. It's hard to find neutral on this bike. See, like that just took me like two or three tries. And what did I just run over? Oh, okay, no, we're good. <laughs> I don't know what that was. But, yeah, I don't know. Sometimes I just cruise to here um, and go back. I'm still in braking period on this bike. Like I said, look, we just hit 130 miles. So, therefore, I don't want to go too far on it just in case it would die on me. I don't want to have to walk it back any farther than where I am now because this is already, like, two miles away. So, I'm, I'm, I wouldn't really want to walk it farther than that. But take a little nick break one second okay so as i was saying also i need some ideas on videos like what do you guys want to see that's another thing you guys need to start, you know let me know in the comments i know there's not many subscribers on here just yet but there will be there will be very soon so i need you guys to start letting me know you know what you want to see what type of content you know other than that i'm gonna just post like a bunch of just cool stuff and hopefully you guys enjoy it so try to make it entertaining for y'all. Yeah, no, I love cruising on these backgrounds, man. They're, they're just fun. Get a little bit of lean action going on the ground. And honestly, for me, never owning a street bike or anything with, like, actual street tires on two wheels, I would say my turns aren't too bad. And I know I'm on a crom, but, like, hear me out. Like, I, you know what I mean? I've never actually rode a the biggest bike I've actually ever rode is a 252 stroke. And I'm not even gonna lie, because I just got back into bikes like recently, like you know what I mean? Within the past like year. So I I used to like I used to ride a lot. I had a small bike when I was younger and I used to go with this girl and she like raced like semi-professional to this day she does. Um and I haven't heard from her in a while, but the moral of the story, you know, growing up around all that stuff. It just kind of, later on in my life, like now I'm 19, so it kind of just made me want to do it even more, you know what I mean? Now that I'm older and I'm more responsible with this kind of stuff, it just makes me want to do it even more, you know? But yeah, I'm, I'm trying to give you like a street bike soon, guys, or a 250, uh, two-stroke, or just something, man. Because, dude, I'm telling you, like, this thing's fun. Yeah, don't get me wrong. Like, it's super fun. And the best part is, sorry about the camera, guys. I know it keeps going down. But the best part is, it's uh, street legal. So it's like, you know, you could really, like, take this thing up wherever and really not have to worry about it. Go ahead and cut her on off. So what do I think after, you know, 130 miles on the bike? I think it's decent. I would rate it a 6 out of 10, honestly. It's decent. I'd give it a 6 out of 10 because, you know, it rides almost 100% perfect most of the time. There's just times, like I said, like here and there where it'll be iffy on starting and you might have to try it a few times and, you know, give it a little break for a second, try it again, whatever, right? Um, things like that, you know, I mean, don't really bother me too much because I know it's all fixable. I plan on just going ahead and bringing hella more videos to you guys about this bike if I don't sell it. And I'll end up putting a bigger sprocket, see if we can pick up a couple more miles an hour on this thing. Uh, we'll put a, the new chain on it too in a video and we'll also put the carb on it too. We'll get a new carb and we'll throw that on uh, probably pretty soon. Um, because I just, this thing's a little iffy. Like I said, I would really like to just have like a nibby carburetor or just something nice. 
on it that's a little bit more reliable and then we're going to go for the exhaust like i said if we do end up keeping this so let me know what you guys think down in the comments what i should do should i keep it should i sell it should we upgrade it what should we do do you guys want to see more content on this or should i get it and get something else like i said drop a like subscribe helps out we're all on the road to greatness you know what i mean so i appreciate every one of y'all and have a good one